Hello, Chris Levels here with you again, the host of Politics Prophecy on the YouTube channel. I'm encouraging you that if my presentations are a blessing to you, that you would like and share and subscribe to the channel. So enough with the promos. Let's get down to business. Today I'm going to be discussing part two, I should say chapter two, I guess, of God's perfection versus perversion. Now, the first video centered on the acceptance of all false religions. This one is going to be the tolerance of all sinful behavior and the effects that it's having on our society today. I mean, only someone who has the vision of Stevie Wonder or Helen Keller would not be able to see what's going on in America today. And it's not just America, it's the whole world. It's as if a cloud is, a black cloud is descending upon the whole earth and every evil entity is dropping out of it and possessing people. I mean, when in your lifetime, I don't care if you're 80, or if you're 20, have you seen so-called mainstream news uh, talking about demonic possession, exorcisms? I mean, I remember when The Exorcist came out, I was very young, but when that movie came out, it was like incredible. Rosemary's Baby was before that, but Exor The Exorcist took it to a whole nother level. Then you started seeing movies like The Omen, and you just started seeing these movies that were based on satanic activity. And today, now you have programs on Fox, like Lucifer. You have Supernatural Charmed, all of this stuff, all of the occult and witchcraft and sorcery that is just being put out in the masses like it's nothing. So, you know, we're going to take a look at what Romans 1 through uh, chapter 1 verses 18 through 32 says along with some accompanying footage of proof of what's going on. It's, it's an incredible time ladies and gentlemen and to you know understand what Isaiah chapter 5 and 20 talks about when it says that we would call evil good and good evil um, it's funny because I used to think about Superman and Bizarro, you know, and his alter ego or whatever it was, but it was a land in a, a complete, you know, upside down universe. And that's what we're, we're seeing now. I mean, Children are just out of hand. You've got, you know, the crimes of pedophilia in the highest levels of government being exposed. Uh, you know, you've got these drugs that are just turning people into zombies and literal demons. Uh, it, it is it's amazing. So, uh, you know, I'm encouraging you that if you're not seeking the will of God in your life, if you don't have the Spirit of God in your life, to take this day to make the choice to serve Him. Confess, repent, move forward in glory. So, I'm Chris Levels. I hope you enjoy this. Again, my intention is always to expose, enlighten, and educate. Because the spiritual wickedness in high places, we have to understand what it takes to deal in spiritual warfare. We can talk about it, but it's another thing to fully comprehend it and then get yourself involved in it. Because I've, I've, I'm coming to a, a better understanding of spiritual warfare and you know, even though wars in the past have been fought between nations, there it hasn't been a, a type of thing where it's good versus evil. 
then I could go deeper into that. And if you have any comments, you're welcome to leave them. But the coming war, the war that we're already in in this country is good versus evil. I mean, you know, murder of the unborn, protection of the unborn, uh, God's institution of marriage, perversion of marriage, uh, you know, law, law, and according to our borders versus lawlessness, uh, you know, righteous leadership versus corruption. It is truly the lines are being drawn along good and evil, and we must fight with spiritual warfare. So there you have it. Again, the YouTube channel is Politics Prophecy. Buckle up, sit back, and enjoy the experience. God bless you in Jesus' name. Bye-bye. Chapter 2, Tolerance of All Sinful Behavior, Romans chapter 1, verses 18 through 32 state, For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God hath showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Because that, when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man, and to birds, and four-footed beasts, and creeping things. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of God into a lie, and worshiped and served the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters. It's me! It's me! I told you! They hate to love me! Because I love me some me! I love me some me! Inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents. Okay. I think that anyone can do what they want in life. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. If you want to be a drag queen and your parents don't let you, you need new parents. If you want to be a drag queen and your friends don't let you, you need new friends. Without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, 
unmerciful. Yeah, he just got in. You yeah. a fucking junkie! Get out the water, you gon' die! Look at that gator coming towards you, my ass! Buddy, we not finna help your ass? You shouldn't have got in! Bro, drowning, what the heck? <laughs> Ain't nobody finna help you, you dumb bitch! You shouldn't have got in there! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, buddy, yeah, buddy, buddy, buddy off that 40. Hell yeah, Brian, he knocked the 40. Yeah, well, yeah, hey, buddy off that 85. <laughs> what made him get, buddy got in with all his clothes on? He keep putting his head under, buddy, wow. Am I seeing shit? What the? Bruh, finna, bruh, something's killing him, bruh. Like, we finna, like, if y'all finna stick right here and still, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're loud, bitch. Dang, bro, you scared to see a dead person? Hell, no, nah, I ain't scared to see no dead person. Cause I'm not, y'all don't understand. <laughs> y'all <Yeah>, bitches can <laughs> never got in there. <laughs> oh, shit. He just died. <laughs> bruh, what, bro? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he's dying. Hey, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> I can't say it, buddy. He's dead. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Hey, bro, come on, buddy. Like no, bro, he's dead. Fuck that. Fuck that. Buddy's been under there for a while now. He ain't coming back up. Let's That's run. Right. No, but we just learning. Fuck that. Why not, bro? You see what I'm talking it's about. It's time you can't run. Dang. Dang. Where you at? Buddy not coming back up, so we got to call Troll to come find his body. Hell no, you call in Troll. Bitch, I'm saying to jump this kid and go home. That is not... Dang. Damn, Bird just died, though. Like, thinking about that. Damn. 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 We That's just saw Birdie die. We couldn't help him. We didn't even try to help him. Cut it. How the hell? How the hell? Yeah, go help him, Barry. Go help him. No, bitch. This man ain't getting back up. Yeah, he, yeah, he did. Ready to go. R.I.P. Well, R.I.P. Like <laughs> well, bro, pop up over here where we at. I'm oh, sorry, man. Ryan, bitch. Oh, is you ever gonna hit the blunt? Hold on, bro. Yeah, let me hit that bitch. Uh -huh. Hey, bitch. What the? Buddy not coming back up for real. Right down the swimming over here where we're hey, where the light at? Y'all hey, see the Who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Now you just watched that last clip of that eight year old boy and these adults standing around cheering as this perversion of God's creation entertained them. The level of sinfulness is just too great. I can't remember who said it. Oh, I believe it was Billy Graham. And he said that if God didn't punish America, he would have to apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah. These days, it's really evident to understand what he meant by that statement. The left and the liberals call us intolerant because we refuse to celebrate their evil. Well, I, for one, am intolerant. I am a hater of the deeds that glorify Satan and lead people into eternal hellfire. I am intolerant of those that make it an environment where evil is good and good is evil. I'm intolerant of the truth being the enemy. In the famous book that George Orwell wrote titled 1984, one of his most famous quotes is that when you live in a world of universal deceit, telling the truth is a revolutionary act. Man, isn't that the case? Well, not only can you call me intolerant, but you can call me a revolutionary for the kingdom of Christ. So that's all I have to say. If you are not in right relationship with God, I suggest that you don't hesitate to make that right. Jesus Christ died for your sins, for my sins. His righteousness will cover up our wretchedness. 
Don't take his grace for granted. It isn't going to last forever. So God bless you in Jesus' name. Until next time, Chris Levels, Politics Prophecy, signing off. God be with you.